Hi, I'm Benita Nathan Sussman. I'm Vice President of Kulanu. And I, we are in the Kulanu office actually, having a reception for Yehuda Kimani from Kenya and uh, Siegfried Fried from Nicaragua mm -hmm. and J Jacob Yakobi from India. Um, I'm sitting here with Yehuda to talk a little bit about the community in Kenya. Yes. Hi, Yehuda. Hi. Please tell us uh, something about your community. Thank you. Uh, my community is located uh, 300 kilometers from the city of Nairobi, and we have about 120 members, of which 25 are converted. Uh, this happened to be when we started to be Jewish, first we are Messianic Jews. Uh, Messianic Jews is the tradition of Jews for Jesus. So someone traveled from America going to Israel and studying from Israel and then being a Messianic Jew, then he traveled to Kenya and baptized people about 100 years ago. So many of our readers today come from Messianic Jews who now decided to be Jews because when we were Messianic Jews, we believed we are Jews, but now we dis when the rabbi visited the church and proved us we are not Jews, we decided to follow up and know how is Jewish and how, is, how does it mean to become a Jew. So you must have been very disappointed. So we got so much disappointed when he came and proved the church we were not Jews and he came with the press and the newspaper of Kenya so that he could write about the Jews in Kenya. And so he wrote that these are not real Jews, these are Messianic Jews. Yes, the following day we got from the televisions. How many, how many Messianic Jews were there? Uh, about 2,000 people. 2,000 people? In the church. Wow. Yes. So that is the church we split it from and now became the Jews after now the rabbi proves we are not Jews. So we split and went aside. How many people split? 15 people. 15 people yeah. out of 2,000 split? Out of 2,000, a very small number. Wow. Yeah. And this is basically your family? This was my family and two more family. And two more families? Yeah, split from the church. And was it grandparents or just parents? Uh, this was only grand my parents because my grandfather had passed away. Okay. So my parents and his uh, their friends separated from the church and now the 15 people were parents and the children. Wow. Yeah. And then what happened? Then after that we decided to go on and ask the people from who visited the church and they were staying in the city, they had another congregation. So we asked them, you said we are not Jewish, we want to be Jewish, can you help us to become Jewish? When they went, we went there, they said, no, we came to you, but you are not ready to learn. So we may not help you, you be just... You went to the Jews in Nairobi? Yes. And they were not willing to even give you the right time of day, Yes. right? That means, that's an idiom that means they were not really ready to consider you yeah. for real. Yeah, so after that is when we got someone, after trying for a couple of times, like three times, we found out someone who helped us to give us books to read how to become a Jew. After being... That's the Rabbi Donin's book, uh -huh. right? How to, uh, how to be a Jew? Yeah, so someone showed, uh, showed us a room and said, that room there is books and you can maybe get books and go back to your community, study Judaism and you know the difference between Messianic Jews, Christianity and how to become a Jew. Oh, yeah. and, and what year was that? That was 1999 is when we got the first books, but we had made friends with them before. Okay. But we had not got the source of reading Judaism so well. Yeah. So I heard then, then what happened? The books were really on loan and they wanted the books back. Oh yeah. So when they gave us the book, they specifically gave us two books. 
one book was called to be a Jew another book grow through Torah so when they gave us the book they said you have to return back to this library and now remember in my congregation many people not money to read books every day because they are going to the garden they want to 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 get something for their families so what they decided to do they contributed money to photocopy all the two books so that when the library asked for the books back we'll have our own books yes so that's what we did <laughs> yeah okay so you photocopied the books yeah so now every family had a book yeah so every family had a book to read and we started to see the reason why we are not Jews and we start to learn how the Jewish tradition is we found the Shabbat Pesach and all the holidays and Kashrut we found the Jewish tradition we now abduct, adopted it and became part of the Jewish tradition so today we converted and it's true but there's 25 books. that converted in your yeah. community and how many are there now uh, we have more than 40 people who need the conversion. More than 40 that need a conversion. So mm. that's like 65, you have 100 people in your community? Yeah. So we, when we converted, we also tend to have our own uh, set up bed bin that judges others who are coming in. We tell them what to do, we teach them, so that when the main bed bin comes to convert people, they find them ready. So okay. we always know who are ready to convert first. Oh. And when we keep teaching others who have not attained the level of converting. So tell us about what happened when Rabbi Gershom from Suzomu from Uganda came and found you. Uh, in 2004, 2000, 2004, 2006, when Rabbi traveled from Uganda and come to Kenya after we now know the Jews in Kenya and Uganda. He stayed for a weekend with more with his uh, brothers and other community members from Uganda. He came to to interview with us because he was curious to know how did we become Jewish. So we, when he asked the questions, he asked he wanted to know who taught you to be a Jew. Then he wanted to see if we really know what is the Jewish tradition is like or we are still Messianic Jews. So when we, he found out we are Jews and we practice Judaism, he asked us, who taught you? We told him, we taught ourselves, but we were given books from Nairobi Hebrew congregation in the city. So that's how we got in touch with Rabbi Gershom. Then he promised us one thing. He said, because Quran helps them to build a school and is supporting the school and it's a Jewish school, so w your kids can come to school, to our school, and they will learn more about Judaism and maybe one day they will help you. So that's how we got wow. in touch with Quran, you get involved, and personally, I got the experience through. Uh, Kuranu, when they came to Uganda, and uh, I was in youth convention, and I asked Kuranu if they could work with me. Then they told me, if you can write story about your community, then we can get interested and help you. So when I write the story to them, and uh, they tell me, okay, what do you need then? I said, I need a computer. <laughs> this I is need, a good part of this, yeah. <laughs> I, I need uh, support for internet because my village, no internet, no computer. So when I met the Harriet Bobra, the president of Quran, she came down with a computer to Uganda and gave me uh, financial support for internet and the new computer. So I started working that way. Mm -hmm. Wow, so tell, I heard the story already, but you could say it again. Yeah. How did, you started with 10 friends on Facebook, you learned Facebook. Yeah. You started with 10 friends. Yes. Then what happened? Uh, when I was in Uganda, and meeting the Jews from all over the world, from Israel, America, and Europe, I... Well, did you attend the school? Were you one of the students? Yeah, I was. You, you, you attended the Jewish school in, in, in Uganda? Yes. That's my first time 
oh. to start a connection with the Jewish from the world. From oh, all over okay. The world. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. so you were a student there? I was student in oh, Semeca Kungur High School. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. You're the first one I think I met that ever went to that school. Yeah, I went to that school personally, okay. and it's where I got the experience of learning more about Judaism when Jews come from all over the world and now we got the chance to learn more. So we had a special uh, time with Rabbi Gershom teaching us about Judaism. So when I, I was in uh, Uganda, I didn't know about much internet because where I came from, there was no much of internet doing things with the internet. So I learned to use internet in Uganda through the guests who come from different corners of the world. After I asked them, to work with me for my community and they asked me, okay, how can we reach you? How can we get you? How can we can contact you? And I got the idea, now I need something special, like working with internet so I can connect to people. When someone came and asked me, so where is your, uh, what is your email address? I said, I don't have one. And then someone said, okay, I can help you, open for you one in a Facebook page and when people come, if they ask your contacts, you can give them that. So that's how I started. Wow, wow. And I became a Facebook. <laughs> yeah, Facebook guru. Yeah. <laughs> so today I am using Facebook. And how many guests, do you, how many uh, friends do you have on Facebook? Right now I have make 1,400 friends. 1,400 friends, uh, unbelievable. From the time I was leaving Uganda, I had Facebook friends and uh, I made friends through friends right so I start I worked with Facebook to help me get more people so today I'm connected to the world because I use the internet and Facebook so tell s tell everybody what your Facebook page is so they can cl uh, click you as a friend okay my Facebook page is Yehuda Kimani Yehuda Kimani Kimani is K I M A N I. Or you can go to my community Facebook page. You can say All Kalao Kasuku Jewish Community Kenya. Now you have to spell that one. So, all <laughs> <laughs> I think Yehuda Kimani is yeah. easier. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you can get to, to, to uh, my community name is All Karao Kasuku Jewish Community Kenya. All Karao is O L K A L O U. Kasuku is K A S U K U Kenya. Kenya is K E N Y A. Terrific. Yeah. And I hope maybe people who watch this yeah. will look for your Facebook page. Yeah, please go on there and you, if you get my Facebook page and you go and say Yehuda Kimani, as I spell Yehuda Kimani, you'll find me, I'm on Facebook 24 hours because that's how I got to establish my community. And I came to America because I connected with a big number of people through Facebook. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So your story is amazing, yeah. and uh, we want to, of course, your community yeah. is welcomed into the bigger Jewish community, and you're making history with Kenya, and may you grow from chayil to chayil and go from strength to strength. Okay. Thank you.